Hello everyone, welcome uh, back to the class. So we were discussing Atnirbhar Bharat Abhiya. If you uh, read the recent statement of Nobel laureate Abhijit Banerjee, he says that the government should give very aggressive financial package to MSME sector because MSME sector forms the backbone of Indian economy and it is also very important because the jobs, the employment of the roads of people indirectly or directly is dependent upon MSME sector. Accordingly, in this Atnirbhar Bharat Abhiyan, government has given a separate component, a separate support to MSME sector and government has decided to give many new kinds of incentives, the new kinds of supports, assistance for the quick revival of MSME sector. So let us see one by one what are the steps of government of India. The very first thing is that government has decided to give collateral free automatic loans for the businesses that is including MSME. So loan is a very Bay area of our country so you might have seen that the people often complain that we are not getting loan because of some kind of collateral fine so the people uh, want a condition free loan basically so that they can support their business they can start they can revive their business the so government has taken a very right step and government has decided that 3 lakh crore will be allotted for condition less loan to the people in the msme sector fine this is the first thing and again the second thing is that uh, when you have to pay back the loan then there will be some rebates in the payback of loan and the government will give you sufficient time substantial time to pay back the loan and this scheme can be uh, you can uh, you can use the scheme by 31st october 2020 and there will be no guarantee no collateral in this scheme Again, there will be the government has decided to give debt for the stressed MSME. So, what is the stressed MSME? So, the stressed MSME are those sectors in which we have a sufficient amount of non performing assets or we have loans from the market, or basically the business is in such condition that there is very less scope of revival of that, that business. So, to give a support to the stressed MSME, government will allot 20,000 crore as a separate fund to deal with the debt to deal with the NPS and also this is only important in this part. Then the government has decided for equity infusion. What is equity infusion? So by equity infusion any entity company they can basically exploit the market by the use of share market, stock exchange and all. So the government has decided to raise the fund of 50,000 crore from this equity market fine and there will be a corpus of 10,000 crore rupees that is fund of funds to support uh, the MSME sector from equity capital base. This is important here. And also the government will increase this MSME sector to get listed in the stock action so that they can export, they can tap the market. This is again very important definition of MSME. So many sectors are there in our country say that we are not getting the facilities of the government the support of the government because we do not def uh, qualify the definition of msme the government has clearly defined msme in a very different parameter so now the government has taken the annual turnover into picture to define msme now why annual turnover is important rather than investment because say you will start a company and uh, say you have invested 50 crore rupees in that company but the annual turnover is not uh, so encouraging so you will not qualify the definition of MSME because your investment is uh, more, but your actual business depends on the turnover. So government has revised the definition and as for the new definition, government will define uh, a component of MSME into micro, small or medium depending on the turnover rather than the investment. So this is the, uh, this is the earlier definition. So micro, small and medium depending on investment so investment 25 lakhs and 5 crore then 10 crore and then uh, there was division among service sector and manufacturing sector so as per this revised msme classification the investment will be taken into picture but apart from the investment the turnover is also very very important so uh, by this combination of investment and turnover we will see many sectors that will that will qualify the definition of msme they can avail the new incentive supports and assistance of the government of India. This is again important. So this was also in news and very uh, in news. Uh, this is one of the much uh, hype news of our country. So government has decided that all the tenders which are below rupees 200 crore in those tendering courses, global companies will not be allowed. And the only indigenous companies will be allowed to take 
part in all the tenders where amount is less than 200 so this is important to make india self reliant economy so that uh, indigenous companies the companies which basically operates by the indians they can take part in these tenders and they can avail the benefits by government there are again and again uh, some new initiatives for msme for example you uh, must be knowing that you take the example of any small sector industry say for example cottage industry the marketing mechanism is the mechanism that is a gray area and that is uh, and that area basically requires the support of government and especially in this covid 19 you can see that the supply chain and entire the supply chain management that has been damaged and so to give to msme sector the government will look after the marketing what government will do, uh, do in this marketing area government will increase the space for e marketing space the government will give a support a kind of assistance to the msme sector so that they can take part in this e market space and they can avail they can market for example say industry is there and that to make toys for this for the kids and all so that industry can be very easily linked with the e-commerce market like amazon and all so that they can get the market and the potential of the market apart from this uh, as, as i explained you earlier also government in this atmanirbhar abhiyan will give uh, support to the, uh, to the workers who are employed in the msme sector by various mechanisms like for example uh, there will be deduction in the contribution towards the provident fund and also there will be deduction of uh, contribution from the employer the so government will bear some kind of your stress in the field of provident fund area and you will have more salary to take home and also the employer will have more amount of money with to look after the business and all also the the time for the contribution to provident fund of india that has also been increased so this is nothing but this is uh, what i have already explained to you that has been explained in the facts and figures so this is not very important you can read these things uh, from the downloaded pdf and then again this is important there will be 30000 crore of special liquidity scheme for uh, non banking financial companies and then hfc and then mfi so government is going to give uh, 30000 crore of special package so that this companies these are basically the main financial backbone the main financial resource of msme sector and so these institutions will be provided some kind of financial package some kind of aggressive and the support from the government so that they can indirectly help other sectors so this is same only with uh, some facts and figures and discoms government are also going to inject 20000 crore rupees for the power companies the power companies which are stressed the power companies which are suffering from financial crisis to get support from the government of india and the amount is 90000 crore again this is these are facts and figures and contractor so this is important so government uh, so government basically execute many of the projects by the mechanism of this, the business of contractor and we have a time limit for example say a contractor is there and the contractor is supposed to complete a road within say by 1st of july the government is going to give some rebate to the contractors in the form of extension of time so obviously workers are not there amid covid 19 the workers are uh, are migrating to their home their places and so relief has been provided to the contractors in form of extension and also one more relief will be there to the contractors the government will release their bank guarantees and their dues and all so that they can execute the work efficiently then uh, within this atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan government has also provided some relief to the project real estate projects under rera so what is rera so rera is nothing but rera is an initiative of government of india in which lot of restrictions were there in the there in the sector of real estate project so what government has done government has given a lot of rebate relaxation and relief to the builder so that they will now have more time to, uh, to make any kind of uh, any kind of regulation of government of india in time bound manner fine so this is all uh, this is only in this part now tds reduction so uh, whatever tax we pay to the government of india that is why the mechanism of tds 
So this is again a very important news because government is going for uh, going to give some kind of relief in this TDS uh, mechanism, and government will basically uh, reduce the TDS amount by 25% in the existing rate. For example, if you are paying the TDS amount of 100 rupees, you'll have to pay 75 rupees. So that is that is a big relief, especially the people in the lower middle class. And a separate amount of 50,000 crore has been kept for this. Uh, repaired in this tedious mechanism. And then uh, uh, other benefits have been given by the government, like uh, there will be uh, relief for the charitable trust and non corporate business and all in paying of direct taxes. So there will be some relief, relief in the calculation of taxes, also relief in the time of your payment of taxes and all. For example, date of all the income tax returns. So we need to file our income tax return idea. The date has been increased to 30th November 2020. So that's a good news. And date of assessment. The date of assessment is also going to increase so that it can provide some relief to the corporate sector, to the people who are uh, paying huge direct taxes. Now, Vivaad Seviswas scheme. What is Vivaad Seviswas scheme? So Vivaad Seviswas scheme is a kind of amnesty scheme in which the corporate sector, the companies, uh, they are given some kind of extension so that they can uh, solve their, all the tax disputes by amicable mechanism rather than going for any kind of courts or arbitration and all. So that's all up to now. Hope the government will come with uh, the uh, more kind of clarification in this Aadnir Bharat Abhyan. Depending on the clarification, depending on the new uh, phases of this initiative, I will make some more videos to you. Thank you, uh, everyone. Thank you uh, for joining.